all that winter, they're ripping up the streets of Europe. The streets of Paris and Florence, the streets of Rome. Cocoons of scaffolding encircle churches, hide triumphal arches, strips of green nylon tarpaulin stretch across planks and frames. The cobblestones have been uprooted and stacked against the walls of black buildings. They're turning hotels into museums, letting the steam out of the sewers, putting statues behind glass. Policemen look on, machine guns slung over their shoulders. In Rome, they don't have any portable electric lights. Instead, they use little pots of fire that look like old-fashioned anarchist bombs in silent movies to warn cars of the edges where the streets drop off into dusty pits. He looks across a muddy hole filled with heavy machinery at a museum. Closed for renovation, the sign says. The whole street in the center of Florence has been ripped up. The exclusive shops face one another across a dank pit of reddish earth. And the walls of green shuttered windows seem to close in on you as you look up. A little rain slips into the narrow streets as Percy hurries home carrying groceries. Other travelers, transients, and the well-to-do Florentines pass slowly, laden with colorful brand-name shopping bags. In Paris, between snow flurries, he watches them pouring cement sidewalks out in long strips down the boulevard Saint-Michel. They're laying out the streets of Europe that winter. People pass in a hurry. Nobody watching the police frisking some Arabs up against a wall. <laughs>